There's one San Francisco icon I haven't mentioned yet, the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. The bridge is a must-see, of course, but why not walk across it? You can work off some of those slap-up meals. It's a wonderful way to see this masterpiece of Art Deco design and engineering. It was opened in 1937 and took four years to complete. Each of the magnificent red towers are over 700 feet high, and every year more than 40 million vehicles cross it. It takes 40 minutes to walk the 1.7 miles to the other side. You could even jog across like some of the locals do. The views back across to the city from the other end are stunning. If you're in town for an extended period, why not go further afield? You can always rent a car. All the usual major car rental companies serve the Bay Area, but if you're in the mood for something more exotic, why not try one of the specialists? For that friendly, family-run service, I recommend City Rent-A-Car. If you're staying in town, they can deliver the car to you, or you can visit their lot on Bush Street. Since this is California, why not rent a convertible? Drive over the beautiful Golden Gate and up into the famous California wine country. Some of the world's finest wines are made here. Wine was first enjoyed in California during the gold rush back in the 1850s, but the prohibition laws killed the wine business at the turn of the century. These days, I'm happy to say it's thriving. It takes about an hour and a half to get there. My recommendation is Artessa Winery. It's one of the newest and most exciting wineries, boasting fine, affordable wines and million-dollar views. The architecturally acclaimed facility is landscaped to blend in with the scenery. There's a sculpture garden and a light, airy tasting room. Oh, and the wine. It's really good, too. And just nearby is the fabulous Farm Restaurant. Their menu is supported by the bounty of the Carneros region and surrounding farms and ranches. It's relaxed and elegant, and a table in their outdoor living room styled alfresco lounge is just the place for a spot of lunch on your wine country day out. One thing though, my advice to anyone venturing along the Vino Trail, make sure you have a designated driver. San Francisco is America's most traveled city. It is brimming with history and bursting with charm. At every turn, an attraction or spectacular view. A trip through the Golden Gate is sure to provide a holiday filled with fun and memorable moments. I fell in love with this great city by the bay 15 years ago, and I have a feeling you will too. Have fun, and don't forget to send a postcard home. Cheers.